we shall now learn writing custom display templates for models that is instead of relying on the default display template we can write our own custom templates to see how this works first of all you have a model class and you have its properties now what we want is that when somebody writes this line at the rate html dot display for model then instead of the default template a custom template should be displayed how is that done you have to come to your home index and there you will have to add for all display templates of the home controller you will have to add a folder called display templates and place your templates inside it this name display templates is hard coded that is you cannot change this name the name of the folder must be display templates now in the current example we'll show how to render the entire model using a custom display template this will give you greater leverage if you want in your projects that a particular model should appear in a particular format then you can use this formula this method to do that let us see now in the last example we were uh, trying to display our model called c student data now what we'll do is we have to templateize it so coming to our solution explorer right click on the home this folder is inside the views folder and for all displays of c student data inside home methods we'll use a template that we'll have to place inside a folder called display templates add we have created a folder called display templates inside the home folder and now write the template code inside it we'll write add view or oh sorry add new item pick a partial page give it any name my model template we are actually not adding a partial page the only reason why we picked this partial page is because when you add partial page using this method an empty page is created for you otherwise we have to delete the contents and then write into it the only purpose is that we have to add an empty file with the extension cshtml that is the sole purpose here giving it a name and click add so you can see my model template dot cshtml appears inside display templates i'll pin it uh, where is solution explorer gone view solution explorer pin it this is an empty 
CSHTML file inside the display templates folder. You cannot change the name of this folder. It is not possible. This name is hard coded. This name is hard coded. We are placing it inside home because we want to say that all the action methods or all the views of the home controller shall follow this display template for this particular model. If you add another controller, you can create display templates inside it. So all views which will display this particular model in those in the methods of that controller, they will follow that template. If you want this template to be followed universally throughout the project, then you should create display templates folder inside the shared folder. So inside the shared folder, if you create a, a template, then this will be used throughout the project. I will demonstrate both the cases. Right now, let us come to this one. We are writing at the rate model. So what is the full path? It is for this that we are trying to display. Note now we are creating display template. And what we have written here already, we can just cut it and bring it here. So, I can now customize my HTML here in whatever way I want. It is not necessary that I use HTML.display for here. I could have very well written at the rate model dot name. It is up to you how you are comfortable. The actual point in this case is to write the HTML for the entire model called C student data in one template file. It is inside this my model template file. In other words, we have created a template How does it work? Supposing this is view 1 in your project, this is view v2 and this is view v3. Inside it at a particular point I am displaying C student data. Inside this at a particular point I am displaying C student data. This is some dive or some area. Similarly here One method would be to copy paste the entire table, table tr, tr, copy paste everywhere. But that is a bad design. If our objective is to show it in a consistent way, then it is definitely better to create a template that is define it at one place. And from there you simply have to write at the rate html dot display for at the rate HTML dot display just one line of code and it will automatically render the actual HTML from the template. So you are not copy pasting anywhere. You should write code once, never repeat it in your project. It is always good from maintenance point of view. Of course, if the you want display for this one to be different, then create another template. It could be used at two places. This one could be used at two places and still we are templating it. 
you can create as many templates as you like okay now how to display this template at this point all we have to write is at the rate HTML dot display for model if I write with no arguments then it will pick its default template we have to tell this one that we are interested in this template so instead of giving the complete path because these are hard-coded names we can simply in double quotes my model template just one line of code I don't have to now write the whole HTML here because it's already written inside the template no CSHTML should be written here no full path should be written here it's only sufficient that you give the name of the template here now I'll run it and this time it is coming from the template I can write a break here run it and it is replicated at two places without copy paste story now how does that model go into this that's an inner story of MBC we need not worry about it probably internally the compiler is actually pasting it here and then doing the whole story let the compiler do the copy pasting how this model object is passed to the template that's a different story beyond our concepts right now but what we are trying to say is that it is possible to modularize the design by using display templates I can create as many display templates as I like even inside shared folder I can create a display template add new folder display templates add another template to it add partial page my shared display and here I can write at the rate model MBC display templates dot models dot C student data I can write at the rate model dot name hyphen at the rate model dot roll number writing an HR also shared folder contains a display templates folder where this is written when you write a line like this if I write a line here my shared display then what will MVC do is it will try to find this my shared display first in because this is in home controller it will try to find it first in this folder if it doesn't find then it will try to search it for in the display templates folder under the shared folder so even if I have written this template inside another folder and this inside another both of them will work because shared folder means common to all but it will first go to search for the specific one if it doesn't find then it will go to look for the shared one if you create same name under two then the closer one will get precedence that is it will try to find this one and whatever is written here will be displayed 
Let us now run to see that the same model is displayed in two formats now. So here you can see that it is displayed in two formats, the two templates that we created. It is also possible to define a template for a particular property. Suppose I want the name to appear in red color everywhere where it appears. For that what I'll do is come to the display templates, add partial page, my prop, create a template as usual. Here you can write span style, uh, generally you'll write CSS but I'm just taking a shortcut here, span Since my property is going to be string type, I did not write, it will take, be taken automatically. No, no line needs to be written here. It will be automatically taken. So wherever my name has to be shown, I want it to be displayed through this template. How will I do that? For that, I have to put annotations on my property. I can write UI hint and the name of the template. I am writing my prop template. If UI hint appears in red line, resolve it. Now, Wherever this name property is displayed for this particular model, it will be displayed through this template. This is called annotation. UI hint my prop template. That is the name property should be displayed through this template. Now how is this template reached because of this? This template is inside the display templates of home. So this will apply to my model template. This is, I am removing this one first to keep the thing simple. My model template will display a property for C student data, name property. This property will be displayed through my prop template which displays it in red color because the model at the rate model this time is the string because only it is applying only to the string property so if i run it now i'll find that the name appears in red if i do it like this put another break and here write html dot or even if I write at the rate model dot name even in this case this will appear in red color no uh, we have to actually display it in the format for the template so we'll have to write html dot display for x goes to x dot name Instead of looking for the default template, it will go to this template for the name property. Had we not written this UI hint here, it would have picked the default template. But since I have written a UI hint there, when the default temp when the template for the property called name is to be picked, it will be picked from the UI hint. And UI hint points to this. So HTML dot display for x goes to x dot name. So the point is that you can apply templates on the whole model also. And then you will write display for model followed by the name of the template. 
you can apply a template to a property also you have to write a UI hint there and not only this if you want to not specify UI hint here but if you want to write the name of the template here then you can put comma it will give in double quotes this will be my prop template sorry so you will display that prop you can pass that template as an argument here also but if you want your entire project to go for this UI hint then you can put it on the property here otherwise just like on the pattern of this display for model you can write it as an argument also so if we now run it we'll get that in red color the upper one is disappeared because we have taken out the UI hint from here so if we bring it back and roll it back then at both places it will appear in red color so this way you can put templates for display for individual properties you can take up a small exercise to wind up this concept create a model class called cdoctor it should have two properties called public string name get set public string phone get set you should use proper annotations ui hints display templates to display the data for a doctor in this tabular format name and phone it should appear in a tabular format and also you can use you should use a ui hint property a annotation on the phone to display phone in red color the same exercise that we did showed you this one, uh, in this uh, lecture has to be done by you but this time the class has to be c doctor so we'll close it right now thanks